In a cold winter forest, a girl named Hannah hides among the trees in order to eventually shoot a deer and then give chase after her prey. But when the deer falls down without strength, the girl realizes that she did not hit right in the heart, so she decides to put the animal out of its misery with a bullet. While cutting up the carcass, her father, who allegedly killed her, appears behind the girl. In a burst of aggression, the girl rushes at her father with her fists and tries to remedy the situation, for if this had been a real fight, she might already be dead. However, she does not manage to outdo her father, and as a punishment, she will drag the carcass home by herself. They do not live in a big shack, where her father asks her to be more attentive, making the girl repeat phrases in German, Italian, Spanish, and also requires her to know how much meat she got in the last week from the hunt. Apparently, the girl finds it hard to live with such a father, instead of stories he reads her biology about sea creatures. But the girl wants to know what music is and hear it for the first time, not a worn-out phrase with the definition of music. Suddenly the girl begins to declare that she is ready for something, and in bed she looks at the Grimm brothers' fairy tales, among which are pictures of her mother. The next morning begins with loud gunshots that signal the start of the girl's grueling training, for they have devised some scenario that the girl comes from Germany and knows every little detail about herself and her friends, not giving anyone a chance to find out who she really is. Her willingness is even confirmed by a sleep test, which she successfully passes by defeating her father, who, by the way, has secrets of his own. 37 paces from the house he has an unknown buried barrel. The next morning, the girl sees an airplane in the sky, with impressions of which she runs to her father. There is a transmitter waiting for her on the table that will bring a certain Marissa Wiegler here, and from the moment she presses the button she won't rest until Hannah or Marissa herself is dead. Hannah holds off the moment the button is pressed and spends time with her father, with it becoming apparent that her father Eric has changed his attitude toward his daughter, letting her make her own choices but when Hannah is left alone she triggers the transmitter. Upon Eric's return home, they change his appearance while the round table discusses details about the case of Eric, a former counterintelligence officer suspended in 94 but in 96, he showed signs of life when his fingerprints were found on a Luger found next to Johanna Zadok's body. The bosses want to give the case to Interpol, but Marissa herself demands to keep it for her department. Eric makes sure that Hannah remembers all the details of their future meeting and leaves the house. At night, the sounds of helicopters are heard and an extraction team breaks into the house, but when backup arrives they find the bodies of the Allies and Hannah. The soldiers tell Marissa that Eric killed them and escaped unknowingly and tells her to bring the girl to her. When she wakes up under the lens of the cameras, the officer asks what she wants and the girl wants to see Marissa Wiegler who immediately informs her that she will be there soon. The scientists found something amazing in her skin, but as it turns out a little later, it was not Marissa but her doppelganger, who conveyed what Wiegler herself said to her. She wasn't wrong about the doppelganger, because later Hannah kills the doppelganger and causes a real bloodbath at their base. She sneaks into the locker room through the vent, where she gets rid of the scientists and takes her file. The agents think she hasn't left. But how wrong they are, because at this time Hannah has already escaped through a manhole into the desert. But when she sees passing cars, she hides and grabs the bottom of the last one. But because of the strong jolt, she falls to the ground. Mrs. Marissa already opens her safe from where she takes a classified case and a German passport, and then burns the case in the kitchen. We are shown Eric's happy family in the past when Marissa gets in their way and shoots up their car, Eric and Hannah escape into the woods, and Johanna promises before she dies that Wiegler won't get her daughter. Hannah herself, by the way, contrary to all expectations, met a girl named Sophie on the way and told her memorized story to her, but it looked very untrue. Sophie offered to give her a ride, but Hannah said she would walk. Meanwhile, Marissa, on the plane, receives information that the girl is in the desert, but demands that all efforts be directed to find Eric, who, by the way, is already floating somewhere. Hannah manages to find a settlement and steals some new clothes for herself. And already in the center of the village she finds a hostel whose owner turns out to be from Morocco, 
and since the girl knows all their attractions, the capital, and the Arabic language, the owner allows her to spend the night in the back room for free. And then the girl heard for the first time the music that her father had read to her from the books, but a little later the sheer volume of sounds makes the girl sick and she runs away, where she meets her acquaintances. Marissa has already arrived in Germany to hire Isaac to take care of the girl while she deals with Eric. Hannah has already had dinner with Sophie and her family, who used words from youth slang rather than the ones she used to learn from books, and the next morning she leaves with Sophie's family, who are on their way to the ferry. The poor hotel owner is killed by Isaac because he didn't give any information about Hannah, and when they arrive at the port, they already see the ship sailing away. Eric swims ashore and is met by the Coast Guard, and in another country, thanks to connections, they track down Sophie's van and go in pursuit. By the way, Hannah went with them in secret, as the boy Miles hit her in boxes. The situation in Maris' situation heats up, because Eric killed two policemen and it is getting harder and harder to keep it a secret. Eric himself, however, is resting quietly in a hotel by the shore. When Hannah escapes from the van, information about her is already coming out to the higher-ups. However, she is met again by Sophie. She is of course stunned when she finds out that Hannah has been traveling with them all this time, but offers to stay with her if they have fun with those guys. Hannah held up her end of the bargain, after which she listened mesmerizingly to music that was already being played by the people themselves instead of the decrepit TV. When the guy wanted to kiss her, Hannah only showed off her fighting skills and said goodbye to the guy, and while they were gone to Miles' tent, Isaac came in who didn't find the girl and left, who followed him back to the tent. When the girls go to bed, as it is to be expected, they share secrets and Hannah tells him that she is going to Berlin to meet her father at the Grimm brothers' house and shows her the file with her DNA, but she doesn't know what it means. So Sophie considers her to be her new friend and gives her a talisman in the form of a bracelet as a token of their friendship. Hannah disappears in the morning, but as it turns out a little later she went hunting to bring fresh rabbit meat for breakfast. The family takes her with them but Isaac follows them. Eric gets trapped by agents at the airport, but wins the fight and finds out over the radio that Marissa instructed agents to deliver Eric to her two minutes ago. The long drive to Berlin forces Sophie's mom Rachel to start enlightening Hannah spiritually, but she's interested in another thing, the car that follows them. Meanwhile, Eric calls Marissa and then breaks into her house, but fails to catch her, she escapes. Rachel is lost and stops to look at a map, but Hannah realizing the danger escapes, where chases and fights with skinheads ensue, during one of which Sophie appears whom Hannah protects by killing a skinhead and forces her to run away. But in the end she escapes only in water, which makes Isaac angry and he gathers the whole family for interrogation, during which Marissa asserts that the death of Hannah's mother can be blamed on her father Eric who killed her 15 years ago, but we know that Marissa did it herself, and a little later she finds out from Miles that Hannah is going to Berlin to Grimm's house. In Berlin, Hannah meets one of Eric's colleagues who lives in an amusement park. This is where Marissa and Isaac find them. They kill Eric's colleague, but Hannah manages to escape. She learns that her target is still alive and, after overhearing Marissa and Isaac talking, learns that Eric is not her father. Hannah then goes to an internet cafe where she searches for information about DNA modification and her father and mother. And a little later she meets Eric who admits he is not her biological father, but has treated her as his own daughter, and then reveals the cards that she was born in their lab. There they change the DNA of human embryos to improve all the skills and create the perfect soldier. After realizing the lie, she tries to leave but Eric tries to stop her, so a fight ensues and she escapes. The man sincerely confessed that he loved her as a daughter and did not want her eliminated as a test subject so he decided to save her. Their dialogue is interrupted by the arrival of Isaac. He orders her to run and he takes the others and draws their attention to Hannah to escape. He defeats both the skinhead and Isaac in the fight. But when Marissa shows up, Hannah hears an unfortunate gunshot and falls. Hannah returns to the amusement park and finds the body, where Wiegler catches up with her a little later. 
Hannah fires an arrow left over from Isaac's torture, which plunges in next to Marissa's heart, Wiegler shooting Hannah with a gun moments before and wounding her. When the seriously wounded Wiegler also falls off the ride, the girl finishes her off and at this point Hannah's mission is given accomplished status. No, please support the channel with your likes and subscribe. Our goal is 10,000 subscribers. We are trying very hard just to reduce your time in watching movies. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I won't say goodbye.